If you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how we can create a mesh basket by combining loop cuts with the wireframe tool. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to start with a primitive object that is going to represent our basket. Now, the cube is not a great starting point, so we're going to select the cube and delete it. Then we're going to hit Shift and A mesh and select cylinder now before you do anything else you're going to want to make sure that these values are exactly how you want them so i'm going to increase the number of vertices to 64 i'm going to reduce the radius to 0.15 and then reduce the depth to 0.5 then I'm going to change this cap fill type from Ngon to triangle fan. This is going to be important when we are creating the mesh for the bottom of our bin. So select triangle fan and then zoom in on our object. Now what we want to do next is we want to just scale it out on the top. So we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And let's actually take this middle vertex at the top and delete it since we don't need that top part. Then hold down the Alt key and left click to select all of the vertices going around the top and hit the S key to scale out. And we'll scale out to something like this. Next, we're going to add a series of loop cuts to add some more geometry. So hit Control and R and add as many loop cuts as you want. We want to ideally try and create perfect square faces as best we can on our model. So left click and then right click and most of these faces are looking a good enough shape for me. Now, up next, we need to focus on this bottom face. Now, bearing in mind, we're trying to create a mesh basket. So we're going to be using the wireframe tool to do that. This means that we're going to need to add some geometry to the bottom of our basket. But if we try to add a loop cut as is, we're not going to be able to because all of these faces at the bottom of our baskets are triangles and you can't create a loop through a triangle. So the solution here is going to be to select all of these faces at the bottom of our basket. And the easiest way to do that is probably circle select, click and drag to select all of those faces. Then go back to regular selection and hit the I key to inset our geometry. And we're going to inset it all the way down to around about here. So really close to the center. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to create a loop cut outside of that selection because these are all now four sided faces. So it control and R and you can now create your loop cuts. So I'm going to scroll up to something like this, left click, and then right click to confirm. And now I have all of the geometry that I need to create my basket. So all that's left is to select all of my geometry, then go to the face menu and select wireframe. 
And you may notice an issue straight away, and that issue is related to the thickness. So it's way too thick in most places here. Also, we need to double check. So if I go Control C, and then back into objects mode, we need to make sure the scale is correct. The scale actually looks good to me here. So I do think it's just a case of manipulating the thickness value. So with the wireframe tool, come down to where it says thickness and reduce this value until you get the look that you want. And there we go. So now we have our mesh basket. Now, alternatively, we could also use the unsubdivide tool to create a cross pattern. So let's do that as well. So I'm going to hit Control and Z. Then I'm going to go Edge and Unsubdivide. Now this creates our cross pattern so long as you have the number of iterations set to 1. If you don't have it set to 1, it will probably be set to 2, so it's probably going to look like this initially. Set it back down to 1, and you should get something like this. Now the only issue here looks to be these faces that cross over from the sides to the bottom. But that's not going to be a problem once you use the wireframe tool. So we're going to go back to face menu and select wireframe to create the wireframe mesh for our basket. And there we go. So that is how we can create a mesh basket in Blender, both using a standard square pattern and a cross pattern.